welcome to episode four of season three of Stock Talk. Uh. This podcast that we do is not for those of all ages, so please, if you're going to flag us or something, go be stupid somewhere else, like at Walmart where you people belong. <laughs> we have our lovely guest, Callie, also known as Callie Confesses. Yeah, uh. that's me. Is that it? Hello, what's up, girl? What's you up? Know. Holla at me. How you doing? Oh, that's your boy. So today on the KFF, we have Steve Green Comedy, Kasim G, and Dane Bo. Disclaimer, I don't want to sleep with any of these people, but if I had to, I think I would sleep with Kasim G multiple times, because I feel like he's like the most famous with my group of friends, <laughs> that I could just point to him and be like, yeah, I did that. But Dane Bo has his own TV show. Yeah, I know, that's why I'm sleeping with him once, but I can't do it more than once. It's it's gonna be once, and I, it's gonna be dark, my eyes are gonna be closed, <laughs> I'm gonna be wearing earplugs. <laughs> Oh Doesn't matter, God. headset. Yeah, he I'm does. not taking the chance. So that means that I'm definitely killing Steve Green in comedy. Oh, poor guy. I gotta say, first off, kill is gonna be Dambo because I am just horrified. What if we're like getting into it and he like starts doing the voice and <laughs> I'd uh, uh, just no, sorry, buddy. No. Wait, mm-mm. Callie, that isn't really sexy and hot for you. <laughs> it's surprisingly not. Who, <laughs> you know? You thought that that would really get me going, but yeah, not so much. I mean, I have to give this Steve Green dude a one silver, I guess, because I don't know who he is, and I've (laughs) literally only heard, like, a five-second clip of his voice. But that's all you do with dildo, so I mean, he's got to know what he's doing, right? (laughs) And I'm with Rachel. I mean, as as much as a creep as Kasim is, I feel like I'd probably be the most comfortable with him, because, I mean, like, (laughs) even though he's kind of gross, I do know the most about him. So... Yeah, that's, that's something, right? Now, I just want to tell everyone, I have the flu. I don't want any fucking stupid comments about how I sound like a nasty old woman or a nasally fucking hillbilly. You want fuck. comments saying that she's sounding extra sexy. Yeah. <laughs> that's what the is. only comments allowed. You guys find this- Flem sexy, right? <laughs> <laughs> you guys, I'm doing it for you so you can be entertained. Are you not entertained? <laughs> I am going to kill Dane Bo. Let me talk directly to him. You are the epitome of my existence. Is that the right word? I want to kill myself no, because the... you exist. <laughs> That's not what epitome means. That's okay, epitome then never all. mind. I don't know what epitome, he, epitome means. If, if Dane Bo is the epitome of your existence, Dane Bo is your existence. <laughs> Oh, then today's opposite day. <laughs> you are not the epitome of my existence. You are the bane of my existence. I don't know what you are, but you're, you're just it. You <laughs> are just so it. You are horrible. You're horrible. Oh Superstar, anybody? Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. You're horrible. Yeah. Alright, yes. you know what? Your show, when I'm watching Cartoon at work and I'm watching my regular show and I want to watch TV afterwards, the fucking annoying orange comes on and I gotta sit there and say, hey, 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 guy, hey yeah, I don't know what you say, but you sound like this, hey, hey, hey. Gabby, you do that way on. too well. <laughs> I digress. I, the only fucking good decision you made was putting Terabrite as the people who did the fucking opening song. I hate you for making that show. <laughs> Oh, wait, yes. wait, wait, so you love Dane Bob? <laughs> yes, <laughs> he's the epitome of my existence, guys. He deserves to die. No, he, no one deserves, okay, that was a little harsh. You don't deserve to die, but you deserve to hypothetically die in our KFF. <laughs> I swear, I would hypothetically murder the shit out of you. Not really, but hypothetically. <laughs> going to fuck one, Steve Green. He seems really awkward. Um, I only watched the five second clip of him where he threatened to shove a dildo in my mouth. And <laughs> as fun as that sounds, it also sounds not fun. Just once, because it could be fun just the one time. We'd headbutt and like our glasses would smash together and it just wouldn't be great. No, they would smash together and you'd be like, ha ha ha, how silly we are. <laughs> Those are apparently your sex sounds. Maybe while you're sick, you don't know. Yeah. (laughs) Kasim G is just so gross to me. Like, something skeezy comes off out of him. Also, I mean, I can be in the mood for that sometimes. So that could Angry, angry, I hate you sex? (laughs) No. He could be like your booty call. I would totally keep Kasim G as a booty call. I would, like, willingly fuck him a few times, but he could be a booty call. 
Hey. He's also the most decent looking out of the bunch. I mean, I don't think he's, like, attractive, but he's like, you'll do. You're good enough. Yeah. <laughs> That'll do, pig. That'll do. <laughs> I'm gonna do multiple times. Cast him G. I like the guy a lot. Like, he's not the most attractive guy ever. But holy shit, I love his personality, and him and I could just, like, bond over wolves, you know, after sex. Just be like, hey, you wanna go to the zoo and see some wolves? Hell yeah. Have some good time. Hey, wanna go to the bedroom and make some wolf sounds? <laughs> <laughs> Whitney would be the type to go make wolf sounds while having oh sex. Yeah, no, right? Right? As much as Dane's Bow new show is that whoa, that kind of rhymed that was a little weird. But anyways, as much as that show is like a little too much, maybe not a little too much, it is too much. I liked it before all of that, so I'm gonna do him at least once and be like, hey, I did a celebrity. It's not even to like to be proud that you had sex with him. It's like I had sex with the creator of Annoying Orange. Wow, I fucking hate that show, that's really lame. <laughs> yeah, so I'm be like, oh I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, but <laughs> <laughs> How drunk were you? <laughs> <laughs> no, but that, that's the thing. I wouldn't say who I had sex with. I would just say that it was a celebrity and that's it. No yeah, dude, actually you. you can lure someone in and be like, they have a very popular show on Cart Newton Network. <laughs> you know it, it's on prime time. Exactly! Don't have to tell who them Who says me. prime time anymore? <laughs> <laughs> I, I would have to kill Steve Green. I would feel kind of unloyal to Michael Gallagher if I did Steve, so... <laughs> Fair's fair, bitch. I'm done. Today's topic is... <laughs> yeah. Yay! I spend a lot of time in the hospital because I have a chronic illness, as you lovely ladies know. Also, today's my two-year anniversary since my last hospitalization, just saying blah, blah, blah. <laughs> oh man, your pitiful claps heal me so much. Um, so anyways, I was spending some time in the hospital, and the doctors were concerned that I had not- They were like, yo, we're gonna give you a laxative and let us know what happens. I'm like, I don't think I'm really comfortable doing that. And they're like, well, you're gonna do it. And I'm like, all right. So I take the laxative, and nothing really happens. And I'm like, all right, nothing happened. That's cool, whatever. And then I go to bed, and I wake up, and I have shit myself. Girl, you and never take a laxative was... and then go to bed. <laughs> Well, no, because I took it during the day and nothing had happened and I like tried to go before I went to bed and nothing happened. So I was like, I'm going to take some morphine and pass out because that's what you do when you're in the hospital. So I called my mom at like five o'clock in the morning because I was in the hospital alone and I'm like, mom, I'm going to have to have you bring me some new underwear. And she was like, what did you do? And I'm like, the laxative took a fight. <laughs> <laughs> I sat in my bed without pants on or underpants with a blanket over that area for like five hours until my mom came oh, with new pants and new pants. Nurses would come in and I'd be like, I'm not wearing pants, but you don't know that. It's <laughs> <laughs> a secret just for me. Oh I God. did the do in my pants. Do the do! So back when I was little, and my sister was really young, and she was just starting to learn words and everything, my sister's babysitter was teaching her how to go poo-poo and pee-pee in the toilet. She was watching Teletubbies at the same time. She didn't know what the Teletubbies were called. She was still, like, learning words and everything. And her babysitter was Hispanic, so she didn't really know how to say poo-poo and pee-pee. So what she said was shishikaka. And then one day, she pulls my arm, and she's like, Winnie, Winnie, shishikaka, shishikaka! And I'm like, oh God, please don't pull me to your poo and she was pointing at the Teletubbies and for like <laughs> a couple of months she was calling the Teletubbies Shishikaka so that's wow. what I forever know them as they should all have different names too it shouldn't be like Poe or anything it should be like should be poo, poo. <laughs> <laughs> the Teletubbies are sacred and you can't do that to the man <laughs> I can't believe you would do that actually wait aren't there colors other colors like red yellow green and purple yeah Okay, so purple is poo, red yellow poo. is pee. <laughs> <laughs> Green is vomit. Red is that time of the month. Hello, what's up? Uh, so instead uh, of poo, it just be period. I love poo, okay? <laughs> like, I love it. I play with it. I, okay, no, not that, <laughs> not that much. <laughs> really, you play with poo. This is news to me. But seriously, remember that one time that I just yeah no like, was, that's we totally bonded over because we sat in the bed and watched Friends and we're like so your shit just clogged my toilet I know and it's it wasn't like if it was a big shit I probably would have invited you into the bathroom before that and be like look how big this shit is I wonder if it's gonna flush but no it's not I like looked down and I was like oh it's just like two little baby shits trying to flush it and they like form together and then it wouldn't go down <laughs> no one got no vetoes once we got the mine <laughs> so I've got this friend right this friend totally not me. It's Callie. It, it's <laughs> you got me! Callie. She was drinking a lot the night before, and you know how drinking kind of like gives you the runs a little bit? Well, she went to work, and she was like, oh man, I, I have this fart, but it's not really coming out. Here, I'll just, I'll just force my fart. <laughs> 
and then she shit her pants at work. <laughs> Sometimes you just can't trust a fart. Don't trust Dude, a fart if never there's any the possibility fart. it could be poop. I keep telling everybody, don't force your farts. There's a reason that I tell people that. I work for this uh, this really big phone company, and if you work there, you know that like their slogan is a great place to work. And I get in there one day, coming back from lunch, right? And my boss is giving everybody who walks by the evil eye. Like, she is staring everybody down. But the thing is, is that I feel weird because she's not staring at any of our faces. She's, like, staring at, like, our genitals area. And I'm like, whoa, what are you doing there? And then I walk by her, and it starts to smell really bad. And I look at the walls, and somebody had smeared poop all over the walls. And my boss was sitting there trying to measure to see who was the right height to just take down their pants and smear it. Oh, my God. It was the best day of work ever. Oh that sounds awesome. That and happened terrible. to me when I worked at Friendly's, uh, like back in high school. I was working as a hostess at the time. One of the waitresses comes out and says, like, Someone or yeah, someone complained to her. It was in the men's bathroom. She's like, someone just saw I or I just saw the most ghastly thing. <laughs> and like, long story short, there was a shit heart on the door. Like somebody <laughs> shit grabbed their shit and then smeared a heart on the door and left. Well, at least they were being thoughtful. <laughs> You're really showing. There was you what like they corn in it and everything. Like oh oh, God, it was like a typical it. like what you would imagine to see a shit on a door look like. One time. I was proudly walking my dog, you know, my beautiful husky. So there was this really cute guy there, and I was like strutting my stuff. I was like, yeah, got me and my beautiful dog. We're so beautiful. Look at this. Right next to his shoes, my dog shits. Just oh. <laughs> not just shits, but diarrheas. Oh. <laughs> and I get like my plastic bag out. I'm like, how am I supposed to pick oh this up? <laughs> how can I pick up stoop? <laughs> <laughs> I would fuck twice Rachel because she would never get tired. Why? <laughs> Even though That's she's right. intimidating, Stamina she would bitch. show me a good time. Okay. Abby, I'm gonna kill you to put you out of your misery right now. Okay. And I'll do what he wants even though she hates that. So, if anyone wants to do the KFFs between us or the three males or maybe even add Callie into the mix, I don't know how you do that, but figure it out. You are totally welcome to do it down below in the comments. Also, if you have any suggestions for us for topics for KFFs, leave, the, leave them down below and we will reply to them most likely. Probably. Woo! Probably not. <laughs> Yay! Bye! Bye.